1974 Chevrolet Corvette. And for this year, the Corvette wasn't quite as impressive as it used to be, but it did all right. The base 350 was rated 195 horsepower, and this one has the optional 350 with a compression ratio of 9 to 1, and it was rated 250 horsepower. Unfortunately, torque was only 285 pound-feet, but eh, it's 1974. What are you gonna do? At least inside, you'll find a four-speed manual transmission, and that'll make this car feel a little bit quick. And out back is a somewhat lively 373 rear. By the mid-70s, Corvettes weren't the lightest vehicle around, and this one, even though it's only a small block with driver, is weighing 3,750 pounds. Let's check out its opponent. 1976 Pontiac Firebird Formula. And for that year, the base engine in the Formula was a 352 barrel rated a whopping 160 horsepower. But this car has the top level engine for the Formula, that being a 400 cube V8. And with a compression ratio of 7.6 to 1, it put out 185 horsepower and a very impressive 310 pound feet of torque at only 1600 RPM. Just like the Corvette, inside you'll find a four speed manual transmission and out back is a set of 342 rear gears. This car has quite a bit more torque than the Corvette but it also carries quite a bit more weight. This car with driver is 4,065 pounds. Let's see what these cars can do on the drag strip today. Dave Brown with the 70 Corvette 350 four speed up against Dennis Fillers out of Algoma, Wisconsin 76 Firebird 400. In the first round, it's the Firebird that takes home the win, running 17.19 seconds at 72.52 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Corvette ran 18.28 seconds at 78.29 miles per hour. Let's check out round two. Uh, next, Dennis Miller's out of Algoma, Wisconsin, 76 Firebird, 404 speed. Going up against Dave Brown out of Lincoln, 74 Corvette. In the second round, it's again the Firebird that takes home the win, running 16.63 seconds at 83.79 miles per hour. In the other lane, the Corvette ran 17.26 at 85.13 miles per hour. And with that, the Firebird is the best of three champion. A huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. Catch you guys at the next one.